So I know one of the commonest questions that we've been fielding uh, pertains to people who have been previously exposed, previously tested positive for COVID, or have been known to be sick with COVID. And there's, a, I think, reasonable suspicion that if I've been infected with this virus before, my body has mounted an immune response, and that immune response should be you know, as good or better than the same kind of immune response that is triggered by vaccination. Meaning I think there are people out there who've been sick with this, with COVID previously, and they're deciding to perhaps forego vaccine uh, in order to um, fall back upon the so-called natural immunity from a prior infection. That is oftentimes, I think, a reasonable line of thought. I mean, we know lots of other viruses that work just that way. Um, you can either get vaccinated against them or you can rely on natural immunity from prior infection. Unfortunately, COVID, SARS-CoV-2, is not such a virus. And it's taken us a while to, I think, have enough experience in real world data um, to demonstrate that. So let me explain a little bit more. We know now confidently that individuals can get sick with this virus on multiple occasions. Um, one of the reasons for that is new viral variants require different kinds of immune response. So as the virus mutates, it changes its structure, meaning you need different antibody profiles to protect yourself against it. So it's entirely possible that you could have been sick with a previous strain of this virus months ago or even a year ago, and you're still susceptible, unfortunately, to the Delta variant that's currently circulating. We now have a pretty good basis in medical research and literature where we've compared populations who have so-called natural immunity from prior infection versus vaccine-induced immunity from vaccination. And the answer appears quite clear. The vaccines result in longer and more substantial immunity than does an infection. And the final point is these things don't work in isolation. So we have millions of individuals who have been infected with the COVID-19 virus and have also ended up pursuing vaccination, and those individuals appear to have very strong levels of protection. So the take home is, I think, um, natural immunity from prior infection is not enough. Um, and you don't need to be fearful about adding a vaccine to that. Indeed, that seems like the right thing to do.